Hello Matrix and welcome to the second video on statistics brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video we will look at the five number summary, box and whisker diagrams, range and interquartile range, outliers and skewness. The five number summary consists of the following numbers, the minimum value, the lower quartile which is Q1, the median which is Q2, the upper quartile, Q3, and the maximum value. And those five numbers make up what is called the five number summary. Now, it is important that those numbers are written in that order. From the five number summary, we can draw a box and whisker diagram. Now, the box and whisker diagram has to be placed on a number line. And you literally plot those five values. What you then do is do you draw a box around the lower quartile and the upper quartile and the median is drawn as a line somewhere in the box. You have a line that goes to the minimum value and a line that goes to the maximum value and that's what your box and whisker diagram looks like. To calculate the range you take the maximum value minus the minimum value. So what you are doing is you're finding the distance of your box and whisker diagram. To get the interquartile range, you take the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So here what you're doing is you're finding the length of your box. Now the interquartile range is not affected by any outliers. An outlier is a score that does not fit the trend of the data. It lies outside the data. If we talk about skewness in a box and whisker diagram, if everything is the same length, then the data is called symmetrical. If there's more to the right, then we say it's skewed to the right. If there's more to the left, we say it's skewed to the left. Now you've got to be very careful with the box and whisker diagram because that divides things up into four quartiles. Each of those quartiles has 25% of the data. So if something is a whole lot longer than something else, it doesn't mean that there are more numbers where it is longer. It simply means that that set of data is spread out further. So your quartiles, 25% of the data lies there, 25% of the data there, 25% of the data there, and 25% there. So the longer something is, the more spread out the data is in that quartile. I have an example for you. It goes over two slides. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to try this example yourself and then we'll do it together. So there's the first slide, there's the second slide. So what you need to do is you need to go back a little bit to get the first slide, pause the video, and then we'll do it together. Number one asks you to find the mean of the data. Well, to get the mean of the data, you add everything up and you divide by 23 because there are 23 numbers in the set of data. And there you get the mean. To get the interquartile range, the first thing you need to do is you need to get the median. There are 23 numbers. So to get the median, you need the middle number. If you've got 23 numbers, it means you're going to have 11 numbers to the left of the median and 11 numbers to the right of the median and the median will be in the middle. There is my median. If you count, You've got 11 numbers to the left of it and 11 numbers to the right of it. To find the lower quartile, what you need to do is take the numbers to the left of the median and you find the median of those numbers. So you need to find the middle of those numbers. There are 11 numbers there. So to get the middle, I need five numbers on either side of that middle. So my lower quartile is there. There are five numbers below and five numbers above. In exactly the same way I can get my upper quartile which is there 
And again, there are five numbers below and five numbers above. So my interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, and there's my answer. The next question says to you, the standard deviation of the times is 5,94. And it asks you how many girls took longer than one standard deviation from the mean. So what I do is I take the mean plus the standard deviation. I've worked out the mean. I've been given the standard deviation. I add them together. Where does that number fit on my data set? Well, it fits in here. How many girls took longer than that? There are four of them. Question number three asks you to draw a box and whisker diagram. I already have the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile. All that I now need is the minimum value and the maximum value. And I write those five numbers in the correct order. I then plot them on a number line I draw my box and then I draw the two whiskers. Question four gives you data for 23 boys. So it gives you a five number summary for 23 boys. And it says to you which of the two groups had the lower median time. Now I've already worked out the median of the girls. The middle number here is the median of the boys. So which one had the lower median? It is the girls. 4.2 says to you the first three learners who name the colors of the rectangles correctly in the shortest time will receive a prize. How many boys will there be? Well, from the five number summary of the boys, the fastest any boy named these rectangles was 15 seconds. If I look at the girls, five of them named the rectangles in a quicker time. They were only giving prizes to the first three learners. How many boys were among the prize winners? There were no boys. The shortest time for the boys was 15 seconds, and there were five girls who were quicker than that. The last question is to comment on the skewness of the data. You will notice the whisker on the right is much longer than the rest, which means the data is skewed to the right. You should now understand these concepts. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.